Welcome back to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. In this episode, I will explain how you can secure math application features and create a login server connection. I will also discuss some parameters that are common to all login connection types and explain how you can use a custom login page instead of the Oracle provided one. The first step to secure a feature is to enable security. As you may remember, features are managed by editing the mathfeature.xml descriptor. You may enable or disable security on a feature at any time. To do so, simply check or uncheck the enable security checkbox for the features of your choice. However, please note that disables, disabling security on a feature will not change anything to the security related checks you could be doing in your task flows or AMX pages. Any feature for which security is disabled will be accessible even if the user is not authenticated. Thus, you can have a mix of public and secured features in the same application. Login server connections are defined in the mathapplication.xml descriptor. Everything you need to manage them is located in the authentication and access control section of the editor. At the top of the section, you will find a drop-down list where you can specify the default login connection for the whole application. If no connection exists, simply click on the plus button to create one. All secured features will use the default login connection unless you select another one explicitly. A login page will be displayed at least the first time a user accesses a secured feature. Oracle provides a default login page you can use. If you need to customize the appearance or behavior of that page, you may use your own login page. Let's have a look at what this entails. The default login page is very simple, as it accepts only a username, a password, and an optional parameter for multi-tenant backends. If you want to implement multi-step authentication, which is sometimes called knowledge-based authentication since typically the user will have to answer one or several security questions to get through, you will have to roll your own login page. There are a few things you should know about custom login pages. First, a custom login page must be built with HTML5. You do not have the option to use AMX pages for the time being. Second, you, can't, you can use the default login page as a starting point. To access it, deploy a mobile application and then traverse to the deploy directory. If your target is iOS, you will find the page inside the temporary Xcode project used for deployment. If your target is Android, you will need to open the .apk file for the application. You may use a zip tool in order to do that. Then inside the APK, you will find a zip file called assets.zip. Please have a look at the math documentation for additional details. Finally, you will need to use the Map JavaScript API in order to start the authentication process. I'm, I'm showing the exact method to call here for your convenience. When you create a new login server connection, the information you will have to provide varies from one connection type to another. However, some of the parameters are the same across all connection types. We will now have a look at them. The first parameter is called idle timeout. Basically, the user will be logged out if he or she remains idle past that threshold. The value is specified in seconds. The second parameter is session timeout. It controls the maximum time a user can stay logged in into a feature. The value is also specified in seconds. Please note Math authenticates against the local credential store after an idle timeout, but does not perform this authentication after a session timeout. Finally, there is the maximum login attempts parameter. 
This represents the number of local login attempts that will be permitted before the application forces remote authentication. By default, Math grants a, a user three unsuccessful login attempts before it clears if the user's locally stored credentials and contacts the remote login server. This ensures that users can log in with a new password after an administrator changes their password server side and that password is not yet cached on the device. If the user authenticates successfully against the remote server, the constraint on local, on local login attempts will be removed. Once you have specified values for common parameters, you can fill those specific to the connection type you have selected. This screenshot shows the parameters for an HTTP basic connection. They are very simple, as you have to provide only a login and a logout URL. Obviously, what those URLs resolve to depends on your backend. However, please note that the URLs referenced will never be displayed to the user. The math application will simply access them in order to respectively trigger authentication or invalidate the current session. Authentication types other than HTTP basic are more involved and will be discussed at leisure in other episodes. Now, let's discuss web service authentication. The configuration steps required are not the same whether you are calling SOAP or REST services. Let's start with SOAP. Security for SOAP web services is not configured on the login server connection, but rather through their associated data control. To get started, you need to open the datacontrols.dcx file. When you do so, each of the data controls is listed in the structure pane. Simply right-click on the data control of your choice, then select the Define Web Services Security option in the contextual menu. This will bring up the Edit Data Control Policies dialog. The dialog is shared with the ADF framework. However, most of the settings it offers do not apply to math applications. To secure a SOAP web service, the only thing you have to do is to select one of the applicable standard policies. The policies offered have been defined using Oracle Web Services Manager and can be used on the server side if your web services are deployed on Oracle WebLogic server. You don't need to license Oracle Web Services Manager in order to use the policies. Let's now focus on the security policies supported by MAF. When a security policy is applied to a SOAP web service data control, the application's runtime behavior changes according to the policy's specification. For the time being, MAF supports only five of the, of the standard OWSM policies. The first two will propagate login credentials in the HTTP header with or without SSL. Another one will use the HTTP basic authentication headers to propagate the credentials. This one mandates SSL. The last two will propagate the credentials in the SOAP header. The use of SSL is optional. If the services are not deployed on WebLogic server, you should ensure that they are configured in a way that matches the security policy you selected inside the MAF application. Let's now talk about security for REST web services. REST services are simpler in design than their SOAP counterparts, as they support the HTTP protocol exclusively. If your math application needs to make calls to secured REST services, the only thing you have to do is to propagate the login cookies obtained from the login server. Math will transmit credentials in the HTTP header if the server where the services are hosted doesn't allow cookies. To configure cookie propagation, simply check the include login server cookie in REST calls checkbox in the general settings of the login server connection. There is a simple rule you should remember about login server connections and web service calls. Always use SSL. The reason for this is simple. If you rely on HTTP Basic 
or want to pass credentials through the HTTP or SOAP headers, the credentials will be sent as clear text. Obviously, this makes your architecture vulnerable to man-in-the-middle attacks and other similar threats. Consequently, your production deployments should always use SSL. Oracle Math relies on a proven Java virtual machine to execute business logic. Thus, you can use custom certificates to support SSL as in any other Java application. Math applications all contain a CSERTS file to which you can add your own certificates using the common line tools bundled with Java Standard Edition. This may be necessary depending on the specifics of your deployment. Oracle's mobile application framework takes security very seriously. In this episode, you have seen how easy it is con to configure the math application to use authentication. This is because most of the complexity is on the server side. The networking layer also handles some of it. Whatever you do, remember that production deployments should use SSL as much as possible. I'm Frédéric Desbiens. Thank you for watching this episode and see you soon.